10 Horrifying Discoveries of Ancient Human Sacrifice Number 10. Inca Mummies In 1999, the bodies of three children were discovered in a chamber high in the Andes Mountains. They were dead, long dead, but they looked as if they might have just fallen asleep. They have been described as among the best preserved mummies in the world and have provided a great deal of evidence about the practice of human sacrifice in the Inca Empire. Sources on Inca religion record how Capacocha ceremonies often involved human sacrifice. Children, especially those that were considered physically perfect, were taken from their families and underwent purification rituals in the Inca capital. From there, they were carried to a mountain location and left to die or helped to die with violent blows. Number 9. Egyptian Retainer Sacrifices Egyptian mummies are probably the most famous in the world. For the Egyptians, they served a very practical part in their religion. The Egyptians believed in an afterlife and a soul, called the Ka, but death was not as simple as the soul flying out of the body. The Ka needed an intact body to return to, hence mummification was necessary for the soul's well-being. If you wanted your soul to be cared for in the afterlife, then you might sacrifice your servants and retainers when you died. The first king of the first Egyptian dynasty died around 3000 BC. King Aha's tomb is surrounded by the graves of court officials who were sacrificed to serve him in the eternal hereafter. Aha's successor as pharaoh was his son Jur, and his own grave revealed 200 people buried with him. As all the graves were filled at the same time, it seems unlikely they just happened to die with their king. Most of the sacrifices found with Jur were female and may represent the wives and concubines of the pharaoh. Number 8. Carthaginian Infants the Carthaginians were the greatest rivals of the Roman Republic. The Punic Wars lasted from 264 BC to 146 BC and saw titanic military campaigns from Spain to Sicily to the heart of Italy. Eventually, the Romans triumphed and destroyed Carthage utterly. Little remained of Carthaginian society, and historians had to rely on accounts from the victors. These sources painted the Carthaginians as practicing infant sacrifices on a monumental scale. For a long time, this was dismissed as just Roman propaganda. But archaeologists uncovered huge burial sites, called tophets, that contained large numbers of young infant skeletons. Were these simply cemeteries for children who died as a consequence of the dangers of childbirth? Number 7. Minoan Sacrifices Judging how a person died in antiquity can be a tricky business. Did they die from an accident or a violent attack? The bones alone may not be enough to tell. Context in archaeology is key, but it is often left to interpretation, raising questions about the validity of a claim. The Minoan civilization flourished from around 2000 BC to 1450 BC. Its spectacular ruins include palaces with richly decorated paintings. There was little evidence for human sacrifice there until a discovery at Anemisphilia. Three bodies were discovered in the ruins of a temple, seemingly as if they were crushed suddenly during an earthquake. Number 6. Ancient Chinese Human Sacrifice We know a great deal about ancient Chinese rituals in the Shang Dynasty, 1600-1046 BC, from a very unlikely source. Thousands and thousands of oracle bones have been recovered from Chinese sites. These consist of bones and turtle shells with a question inscribed on them. These were then exposed to heat, and how the bones cracked revealed the answer to the question. In one case, a fragment of a human skull was used in this way for divination which may suggest a human sacrifice. But the texts preserved on the bones also describe human sacrifices. One bone has, shall 1000 cattle and 1000 humans be sacrificed, written on it. Another records how 9000 people were sacrificed. Number 5. Ur Sacrifices. Ur was once a major city in Mesopotamia. It flourished in the 3rd millennium BC and was home to a vast ziggurat temple dedicated to the god Nana. The royal cemeteries of Ur produced some of the richest finds in 20th century archaeology. Gold, ivory, and lapis lazuli artifacts revealed the prosperity of the city. The graves also showed evidence of human sacrifice. At the grave of Queen Puabi, there were 52 bodies buried alongside the queen. These were probably attendants the queen was thought to need in death. Examination of sacrificed people at Ur shows that their bodies were heated and treated with mercury vapors in an attempt to preserve them. 
When they were discovered, it was thought they might have been poisoned before being placed in the tomb. Number 4. Germany's Stonehenge. At Pommelty in Germany, there was once a site of great significance to the ancient people who lived there. Seven large concentric banks of earth were constructed, and large wooden posts sunk into the ground. The entranceways were designed to align with the rising of the sun on certain days of the year. From 2300 BC, the site was well tended, but by 2050 BC, the site was abandoned. The wooden posts were burned, and the ashes were buried in the holes they left. Number 3. Sacred Cenote. The Maya and Aztecs are widely associated with human sacrifice. Aztec pyramids would run red with blood as victims were executed by having their hearts cut out and their bodies rolled down the steps. But there were other methods of sacrifice used. Cenotes, sinkholes in limestone, were important sources of water in Mexico. These underground pools have an eerie yet beautiful quality, becoming important sites of religious significance. Archaeologists that have searched them have found jewels, statues, and ceramics that were ritually deposited in the water. They have also found large numbers of human remains. Number 2. Bronze Age Turkey. At Basur Hoyak in southeast Turkey, a stone-lined tomb was found dating from around 3000 BC that seems to tell a strange story of human sacrifice. Inside the tomb were the bones of one adult and two children. At their feet, in a separate chamber, were the remains of eight young people. Understanding the relationship between these individuals is complex. Those inside the tomb were buried without much in the way of grave goods or ornamentation. Those outside were dressed in heavily beaded and decorated fabrics. Large bronze pins were found on at least one of those outside the tomb. At least two of the bodies show signs of being killed by sharp objects, with signs on the bones of stabbing and slashing. If they were sacrificed, it was not a dainty ritual. Number 1. Bog Bodies. Bog bodies are a type of accidental mummy. Because the bodies were deposited in oxygen-poor bogs, they did not rot, and chemicals in the water helped to preserve their skin. They have been found across Europe. Sometimes they are so well preserved that police are called because they look like modern murder victims, and many of them did suffer violent deaths. Many have been found with the implements of their death on them. One, called Toland Man, still had the plated rope of animal hide that had been used to strangle him around his neck. Others were throttled with woolen cords. Because of the high level of preservation, it is possible to reconstruct the rich meals they had before their death. These were not poorly treated victims. Some of the bog bodies were pinned down with sticks to stop them from floating back to the surface.